Hello and welcome into another last edition of the 2021 USL Tactics Show, where I want to break down the play of Ronaldo Damas in that championship final. He was the player of the match, he scored two goals, but I think his two-way impact was crucial to what OC tried to do. So here you're going to see him really applying that back pressure, closing down on Wyke, uh, roving around the box, supporting the defensive runs that his teammates are making, He's going to poach the goal as a result of it. It's a very clean finish, but it comes as a result of some of that de defensive pressure that he's applying. Here, there's a nice bit of interchange that goes along, but Damas's run is what opens up that side of the pitch in the first place. He probes really well, and when Fa Forrest Lasso overplays, he's able to pause, take a step back, and finish so cleanly to really put OC ahead in this game. His impact extended in the offensive role further. Here he's going to contest a header. He doesn't really win it, but he does enough that it opens up the middle of the pitch. Cavio can get in there, earn a foul, and that's a great opportunity for Orange County. But it's the defensive impact once again. Here he's going to storm into the midfield, win the ball back, and just really probe around. But it's that back pressure again, where he's stifling the Tampa Bay buildup in a way that's just so impactful from a forward. He doesn't need all of the touches in the world to really put his mark on a match. Here he's up in that 4-4-2, that front pair, uh, putting pressure on Wyke. And when the center back stepped up, he's able to apply pressure there. It leads to an interception and the play is blown up for Tampa. You're going to see the map of actions for Damas here. He was all over the pitch in this one. The goals are what stands out. But the way in which he put in that hustle, put in that grind, is so reflective of this Orange County team style, and it's why they're your USL champions this year.